The Walking Dead Destinies might actually be the worst game of 2023. Maybe even worse than Lord of the Rings Gollum and King Kong Skull Island. These two games were panned across the board for being the worst games ever conceived in 2023. But The Walking Dead Destinies might just be worse. This game, I am not joking when I say they delayed the PC version of The Walking Dead Destinies on the day of release. <laughs> the game released on consoles, but on PC, the day of release, they changed their website, removed all mention of the PC date, and then delayed it to December 1st. That should just show you how bad this game really is. Now, the game is available across Xbox Series XS, Xbox One, I think, PS4, PS5, Switch, and you know, obviously the best choice, I think, would be to go play it on Series X or PS5. But I think I want the true uh, best version of The Walking Dead Destiny. I want the highest resolution, highest frame rate, maybe some ray tracing. So I bought it on my Nintendo Switch. It looks and runs a bit like this. Yeah, I was kind of blown away by <laughs> how bad <laughs> this ran. But I also wasn't surprised. I did not. Ex I expected this game to run horribly on Switch, and to be fair, I got what I wanted. <laughs> so I thought I'd give my first impressions of this... Uh, game it's kind of it's a game but it's not a very good one i've played just about the first around two hours got a couple episodes in and yeah i've got some things to say i also want to mention i'm a big fan of the tv show and comics i've not read all the comics but i'm getting there and i've watched all the tv shows i've watched most of all the spin-offs so i'm kind of a big fan so that's why i'm even considering playing this game and even making a video about it i am genuinely a big fan of the walking dead so the whole idea and concept of being able to change the, what happened in the TV show was very appealing to me. I don't know if it's as appealing now, after playing a couple hours. Let's start with the obvious. <laughs> the graphics of this game are not great. Might seem by the thumbnail. Rick's face kind of looks like Gollum from The Lord of the Rings. <laughs> he looks like Gollum. I don't know what they were doing. He doesn't look anything close to Andrew Lincoln. Like, the hair is the exact same, I'd say, as Andrew Lincoln. But the rest of it, I don't know what the hell they were going for. But yeah, on Switch, this game runs horribly. It visually looks, looks so, so bad. There's, like... You can like look out and see the grass, but the ground is just blur. It's just a blur. It looks so bad. The frame rate dips like crazy. At the tank part, when there's tons of walkers around the tank, the game is dropping into like the 20s on Switch. I imagine, again, I picked, I bought it on Switch for that reason. I want to see how bad it ran. The characters, again, Rick looks horrible. Shane looks okay. Glenn looked really bad. I don't know what they were doing here, but Glenn looks nothing like he does in the show. The gameplay, maybe you're thinking that... Maybe the gameplay's alright, maybe I can have some fun, beat some walkers, beat some zombies up, that's kind of the fantasy with these things. No, it's really bad. I want to describe the combat to you. With melee combat is right bumper, right bumper, then press Y or X to instant kill, and that is it. You can also just keep hitting and they'll explode, well their heads will explode. This is some of the worst combat I've ever experienced like in a game, I think. Within a single hour of gameplay, I was already getting bored of this. I was sitting here just like, why did I buy this game? You might be like, oh, well, okay, melee combat's not there, but maybe the gun plays a little bit better. No, no, god no, it's it's even worse. It's so stiff to control, it's like there's aim assist, but I feel like the aim assist is kind of working against me at times. This game just sucks, control-wise. Gameplay-wise, the shooting sucks, the melee combat sucks, but there's always the other option. Stealth. No, I don't know why I would ever play a Walking Dead or a zombie game and stealth my way through encounters. Like, I I feel like half the fantasy and the, half the excitement of playing a zombie game or a Walking Dead game is grabbing a bat or a, or a sword and just slashing up some zombies or walkers and beating their heads in. You know what I mean? Like, that's like half the fun of these games, right? You know, maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm a little psychopathic. I feel like it's half the fun, you know? I mean, grabbing like a bat and just beating up some walkers. Like, that's what I wanted to do, but the game can't even deliver on that. A big thing that people, including myself, got excited about for this game, though, was the ability to change the narrative of the hit TV show. Being able to, in Season 2, have Shane kill Rick and have Shane be the new star of the show. This was a really appealing concept to me because, well, I love the TV show. I always have. You know, even during the rough patches, but that's another topic. And I've always liked the idea of this, because people always say that, you know, what if Shane survived past season two? And I thought this would be a really interesting concept. 
And does it work? Is it worth playing through the horrific gameplay and graphics to really show off that mechanic well enough and worth buying the game for like $50 if you're in America or £40 here in the UK? To be honest, I think it kind of depends on who you are. If you're a fan of the show, kind of like me, you know, not even a super fan, I wouldn't class myself as that, but if you're just a fan of the show, I think you might get a kick out of it. I got a bit of a kick out of just... For example, handcuffing T-Dog to the roof instead of Merle, even though T-Dog does nothing. I don't really get that choice, because T-Dog literally does nothing to instigate it. <laughs> he just tries to help the group. But anyway, I found that kind of fun. I was like, okay, it's kind of fun. And, uh, you know, later on, I you see in trailers and stuff that T-Dog basically turns into who Merle is in the later seasons. That's pretty fun. And... I think if you're not a fan of The Walking Dead or, you know, you just casually watched it and you've kind of fallen off the whole train, I don't think you're going to like it and I think you're going to hate it even more than Walking Dead fans will. The main part of the story that really annoys me is a lot of the story is a text dump. For example, the game starts, Rick waking up in the hospital, you leave the hospital and then it pops up, black screen, white text, oh, Rick got shot with his best friend Shane, they were cops. Like, what? It does not show you this. It is a text dump. It just pops up with a couple sentences, and that is it. It's an absolute embarrassment. I cannot even begin to comprehend how they released this game. There's also massive character changes. Characters like Andrea from the show and comics are just not in the game at all. Like, what? And uh, Morgan, instead of Dwayne hitting Rick over the head with a shovel in both the comics and show, in this game, Morgan just kind of shoots some walkers, and Dwayne, his son, just does not exist at all. Like, they've completely changed entire characters. <laughs> like, what? What are they doing? This is meant to be an adaptation of the TV show, and <laughs> they can't even do that right. Another big problem with the story is the cutscenes. Some of the cutscenes are, like, in-game, you know, like, they look pretty bad. At least they're happening. And I mean that because the cutscenes are uh, the main cutscenes, the most important story ones like the Merle T Dog fight or any of the other ones you can think of, are stop motion. Meaning they are characters doing poses and it's frozen. They're just kind of frozen in place and the dialogue's just kind of going. Like, I understand this wasn't a very big budget product, but. To say, <laughs> my mouth was wide open, just in shock when I first hit a cutscene. I was blown away. I could not believe it. So, I want you to experience how bad this really is. So, I'm going to play you the entire of the Merle vs. T-Dog cutscene here for you, so you can get an idea, because I don't think me explaining it's going to really show how bad this really is. So, enjoy, I guess? Are you crazy? Hey! You ought to be more polite to a man with a gun, huh? Only common sense. And you're wasting bullets we ain't even got. And you'll bring walkers down on our ass, man. Just chill. You think I'm going to start taking orders from you? <laughs> I don't think so, bro. That'll be the day. That'll be the day? What? You, you got something you want to tell me? I'll tell you the day. That'll be the day I take orders from a... <laughs> I'll pull this trigger. It'll be the best use of ammo all day. Come on. Anyone gonna do something? That's enough. From both of you. Get up off of it. Who the hell are you, man? Officer Friendly. You kidding me, man? Look here. Whatever your differences were, things have changed. There's only white meat and dark meat. There's us and the dead. We survived this by pulling together, not apart. Yeah, mighty fine speech coming from a filthy pig. All I am anymore is a man looking for his wife and son. Anybody gets in the way of that is gonna lose. Are you standing up or am I dropping you? <laughs> All right, Officer Friendly. Take us to the Promised Land. What the hell, man? So you just gonna let him get away with this shit? Just calm down. We'll work this out. Let's just go and... I ain't going nowhere with that crack. Now listen. Just give him a minute to cool down, Rick. Better catch up with those fools. What the fuck, man? Well, 
Looks like Officer Friendly needs to keep better track of his equipment. Well, what do you think's gonna happen when you show up without me? It's a dangerous world out there, Mr. Yo. People go missing all the time. A few days, no one's even gonna remember your name. Look, they'll know it was you. They're not gonna believe whatever bullshit story you come up with. Officer Friendly seems to be of the mind to give people the benefit of the doubt. So I guess we'll see, won't we? Well, I will. You sure ain't going anywhere. Hey, stop! If I get loose, you better pray! You hear me? You ran that piece of shit! You hear me? That cutscene was, uh... <laughs> it was something, alright. I, I really don't know how or even why this game released. I don't know... I don't know if we really needed a TV show adaptation of The Walking Dead in a video game. It's so weird. Like, I think the better thing here would have been to make an original story similar to what Telltale did. Making just an original story. Maybe focus on character from the show. I don't know. Maybe do a prequel story uh, focusing on the governor because there's the governor books. Maybe do that in video game format. Or uh, Negan, do a prequel. You know, I mean, there's so much more avenues they could have went that could have made this just a little bit better if they just focus on, like, one character instead of trying to tell four seasons of television in a like eight hour game so anyway that was my uh first uh, initial impressions of the walking dead destinies and if you want my opinion if you just pick this one up maybe maybe you got the cash and you're like oh man i'm looking for a new game to play all these other games like spider-man 2 and starfield and baldur's gate 3 i'll make 2 no please 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 don't buy this game <laughs> This game is not better than any of the games I just mentioned. It's nowhere close. This game costs like the same price. It's like fifty dollars in the U.S., forty pounds here in the U.K. You can pick up like a, you can kind of pick up like Elden Ring for that price. If you never played Elden Ring, please go buy that. You can buy anything for this price. There's so many better games you can buy for forty pounds, fifty dollars. You can buy so many better games. Please go buy them instead. I'm personally gonna keep playing because I bought the game. So, you know I. Yeah, <laughs> I'm going to keep playing. I'm going to torture myself for a couple more hours. I just really want to see how bad this game gets. As bad as it is, I kind of just want to see it through to the end and just see all the horrible choices and just how bad it gets. Anyway, that's what I'm going to do. Maybe if enough people enjoy this video and watch it, maybe I'll do a part two of a full review once I've beaten the whole game, but I don't know. Probably not. Uh, anyway, though, thank you for watching. I've been the Intel, and I hope you have a lovely day.